members of the committee. Um, I know that Glenn Gregory uh, contacted me and said that he made several uh, mention of the possibility of the public defender's office being able to move into the Lowndes County Courthouse. Um, I have uh, thought about this. I've talked to Judge McLean about it off and on uh, during the last few months, and I personally think that would be a great idea. Um, I realize that the courthouse would have to be uh, somewhat renovated and uh, possibly some more offices rearranged. Uh, but at the same time, our office has 19 full-time employees. We are currently renting at the Bank of America building and have for the past 10 years. Time flies, doesn't it, Judge? Yes, it does. Uh, for the past 10 years, we have been in the Bank of America building, and, and in that building, uh, our offices are located on the second floor and the first floor. We have the juvenile court division on the first floor and adult court division on the second floor of that building. And out of that office, we, of course, uh, handle three counties. We handle Lowndes County, Brooks County, and Eccles County, all of which uh, uh, pay a percentage based on the population of each of those counties uh, as to the rent on the building. Uh, our rent uh, at the current time, is $10.09 per square foot. Uh, that is, uh, uh, has, has gone up gradually through the years, but uh, recently, last year, the Bank of America, or their subsidiary called First Investment Bankers, uh, sold that building to a cardiologist who lives up in uh, Tennessee, I think in Knoxville. Uh, he now owns that building. So I know that his plans are to up the rent. On the second floor of the Bank of America, there's only two uh, tenants. That's our offices and the U.S. Department of Agriculture uh, Risk Management Division occupies about two-thirds of the second floor. We are currently uh, leasing 7,209 square feet. But earlier in the year when I met with uh, Chad and uh, other people with the county, we, we have come up with an idea that we could probably, uh, by rearranging things, uh, get by with about 6,000, 6,200 square feet. We think it would be an ideal location uh, for the Public Defender's Office. We see approximately 25 to 30 people a day. A lot of the people that we see are family members of people that we represent because, of course, a lot of our clients are incarcerated in Lowndes um, County Jail, the Brooks County Jail, and of course the Lowndes County Jail uh, holds the uh, any prisoners from Eccles County. So uh, most of the people that we see in our office each day are family members, people who come in to apply. Uh, for example, in juvenile court, uh, we have to we have to represent all children in juvenile court that's charged with any type of delinquency act. Uh, which has just been expanded by the legislature to include more people uh, and we represent. So we deal with a lot of parents of juveniles. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I separated the juvenile court offices and put them downstairs in the old United Way office, if you're familiar with the old United Way office uh, on the southwest corner of the Bank of America building on the first floor. Uh, but to to give you some idea, with 19 full-time employees, uh, we have uh, nine lawyers and we have uh, one investigator and the, and the rest of the members are staff members. We have one indigent verification specialist that checks uh, applications for our services. And we have one in-house interpreter who is also an administrative assistant to keep us from having to hire an interpreter all the time. We, I, I found that it was cheaper, of course, to hire someone who spoke fluent Spanish, and uh, she works right next to my office on the second floor. But um, to give you an idea, we handle, um, of course, as, as many superior court cases are, as there are generated in those three counties, which are in Lowndes County alone are several thousand cases each year. 
uh, a lot of cases do not get handled completely in one year, so a lot of those cases are carried over to the next year. We are the sixth busiest judicial circuit in the state of Georgia as far as public defender offices are concerned. We handle more cases than any other judicial circuit, uh, basically south of Atlanta. The Chattahoochee Circuit, which is Columbus, Georgia, has seven counties in it. They handled a few more cases last year than we did. But we handle more cases than the, than the uh, Macon Judicial Circuit. We handle more cases than the Eastern Judicial Circuit, which is Savannah. So we are a very busy office. Uh, I think it would be an ideal location. It would be in the center of town, uh, and it would, it would provide a place for the public to be able to, to come in and make applications and uh, meet with the lawyers and discuss their cases. Uh, that's what we mainly do in the offices. Uh, and then, of course, the trials, we would be right across the street. We could walk across the street for any trials that are handled. Most of the trials are handled in the judicial building here. Uh, and, and the other work we do, of course, hearings and things of that nature are all handled at the courtroom at the Lowndes County Jail. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm with Judge McLean up here. I know I'm boring him to death, but I, I know some other people aren't familiar with what all we do. Uh, I apologize, Judge. But uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's kind of uh, the presentation I wanted to give you. We're, we're uh, basically, uh, it's an expense of about $72,000 a year is what we're spending. Now, we have money that comes back into the county uh, through uh, court-ordered reimbursement of attorney fees and probation cases. Our, all of our judges uh, award... Uh, or order the defendant who is placed on probation a minimum of $500 for every felony case and $250 for every misdemeanor <coughs> case. Of course, anyone who's sent straight to prison, 200 No, two minutes. Two minutes, excuse me. Uh, but uh, anyway, that uh, and I, I have a floor plan uh, that I can give to you showing our offices in the Bank of America building. I'd lot rather you come down, and I'll be glad to show you around. Uh, but basically, uh, I think it would be an ideal location. We, we've never had any incidents of uh, misconduct in our office. Now, we did have a gentleman that came in and tried to rob the bank downstairs with a knife, but that wasn't, uh, that wasn't uh, and he tried to flee on foot uh, out the back door, and they caught him hiding in the dumpster over across the street uh, behind Lee office equipment. But, you know, we have those kind of incidents that happen. Uh, but uh, it wasn't one of our clients. Uh, he probably was later on. Later on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, anyway, uh, I'll be glad to answer any questions uh, if, I, if I could. Any questions from the committee? Kent, we would like for you to submit some of that written information. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you, other members of the private. You and I have been friends for a long time. Yes, sir. Boring has never been one of the categories I put you in. Well, thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, next we have Marna.